Hello everyone! For today's video, let's talk about silent heat in dogs. Sometimes, the signs of a dog in heat are so slight that they go unnoticed. In a silent heat, all external physical signs like vaginal bleeding, discharge, or swollen vulva are so minimal that you don't see them. Not only that, but their behavior might not change. She may show absolutely no interest in male dogs either. So, you have been waiting anxiously for your dog to go into heat. It could be you were planning to breed her this time or you simply wanted to get her spayed right after the heat. It could also be that you just wanted to be prepared so you could take all necessary precautions that should always be taken care by owners who choose to keep their female dogs intact. If your dog hasn't gone into heat for a very long time, there may be chances that your dog has undergone a silent heat. Knowing more about silent heat in female dogs may be beneficial for you as a dog owner, especially if you want to breed your dog. Of course, you are familiar with your dog's heat cycle. You know how often in general it happens and you know how to recognize the signs of preestrus. So, six months go by and nothing happens. As the seventh month flies by, you start scratching your head. What happened? Did you miss it? Is your dog's heat cycle going bonkers? Did she skip her heat or is it late? What would cause a silent heat? Veterinarians who specialize in reproductive health often meet owners who are just as puzzled as you. More often than not, the dog most likely went into heat but the owner just didn't notice. You may say, but what about all the male dogs? Shouldn't they have been showing at least some interest? What about the trails of adoring males waiting outside the front door? Following are some causes of what dog owners refer as to silent heats. Signs are there, bleeding, swelling, discharge, or behavior changes, but you don't see them. Yes, your dog may have simply given off little signs of going into heat you may not have caught. Don't take it personally. It happens. As mentioned, Countless vets are contacted for the same problem. If you are not planning to breed, count your blessings. Many owners would prefer a silent heat so they did not have to deal with all the cleaning and cranky behaviors associated with it. But how could you have missed it? Some dogs are fastidiously clean and will readily lick off any signs of evidence. So, the bloody discharge may have never made it to the floor. Other dogs simply don't bleed much at times. This, dry heats are not abnormal. If you are planning to breed your dog, don't rely on the presence of blood alone. Silent heat versus missing heat. At times, what looks like a silent heat is actually a missing heat. If about 10 months have passed and your dog didn't go into heat, it could be you have missed the signs but it could also be very well that your dog really didn't go into heat. Keep in mind that this can happen and at times, this can be due to some medical problems. When to see a vet So, if your dog didn't go into heat and she's not a basenji and doesn't seem to be planning to go into heat soon, then your next step is to have your dog seen by a vet. Have the vet rule out any medical problems. Your vet may then decide to check on your dog's progesterone levels to have some idea of what may be going on. If your dog did undergo a silent heat, her progesterone levels would still be high enough to prove that. Weekly cytology tests may provide an insight on the chances for an estrous cycle nearing or signs that nope, there's not going to be any future cycle in the near future. Interestingly, if your dog is late in her heat and you're concerned, housing her with another intact female who is approaching proestrous may help. There are many cases where a cycling dog may induce heat in another female dog living alongside. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share our video.